Today, we're going to be making some pinch pots. Pinch pots are basically just bowls made out of clay. So if you notice, it's got this nice rounded bottom part right here. If you look around the edges, it's pretty even everywhere on top. Okay, and if you also look at the sides, it should be very smooth. There shouldn't be very many cracks in there. So I made a few of these and I just want to show them to you. A lot of times when I have students who make pinch pots, their pinch pots end up like this. We don't want the bottom to be flat. We want our bottom of our pinch pot to be rounded like this. So we're gonna pay close attention about how to do that later on. Another problem that I see is that it's not even all the way around. So if you look at this pinch pot, it's got some really wide parts and then it gets really, really skinny in some parts. To make our pinch pots, we wanna make sure that it's very, very even all the way around. It should be about the same width all the way around. And lastly, another problem that I see a lot is that there are cracks. So if you look really up close with this one, you see that there are lots of cracks everywhere. If you start working with your clay and you're noticing that there are lots of cracks everywhere, then that means your clay is thirsty. It needs a little bit to drink. So what I like to do is I like to dip my fingers in water and just with, a, with one finger, just sort of smooth out those cracks. And what's gonna happen is that clay is going to drink this water and it's going to smooth it out a little bit. So I keep going back and forth until I smooth out whatever surface it is that I'm working on. So if you start to see cracks, just make sure you stop for a second and smooth it out. Just be careful not to use too, too much water because if you use too, too much water, then it begins to turn to mud. So it's sort of somewhere in the middle there. All right, so let's take a look at how we can create a beautiful pinch pot like this out of our piece of clay. So we're each going to start with this cube of clay here. And what I like to do first is I like to look at all the corners and just press them in a little bit. You don't really have to do this step, but that's just how I like to start it. So I'm gonna press all of my corners in so it looks a little bit more like a ball, okay? Then I'm going to place it down with a thumb. I'm going to give it a thumbs down and I'm going to go hold my thumb really, really straight and press almost all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to press, 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 press until I sort of have a thumb lollipop here. And when I pinch, I have a very special way that I have to pinch. I have to use all of my fingers, so the whole part from top to bottom. So what I'm going to do is stick my thumb in here, wrap my fingers around it, and make sure that I'm pinching all the way down to the bottom. And then I like to turn it. So I pinch and then I turn my clay and then I pinch all the way down. So I'm not just pinching with the very tips of my fingers, I'm pinching with the whole side of my finger. And I'm going all the way to the bottom. You also have to be careful that you're not just pinching up here. You wanna put your fingers all the way down to the bottom because if you only pinch on the sides, then this is what happens. You have a flat bottom here and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to put my thumb inside and I'm going to make sure that I also press down on those corners because I do want it to be rounded from here up. So I'm pinching and turning and pinching and turning. And as I'm pinching and turning, you'll notice that the hole inside where my thumb was is getting larger and larger. So I'm pinching and turning, pinching and turning. And if I'm pinching and turning and I notice that part of it is still sort of on an angle here, then I'm just going to stick my thumb back inside and I'm gonna find that little angle or corner and I'm going to press it down so that it becomes more rounded. So already this is looking much nicer. So I'm going to continue to pinch and turn, but now I'm going to start to pay close attention because I don't want this to get too thin. If it gets too thin, then it could break and it becomes very fragile. So now I'm going to look at it and if I have some section that's a little bit thicker than my other section, I might stick my thumb back inside and pinch there too, because I want it to be very, very even. And then I'm also going to continue to look at it from the side and make sure that it's rounded. I don't want it to be flat on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's rounded there as well. And then I put it down every once in a while just to make sure it balances. This is already looking much, much nicer. 
and it's getting to be pretty even all the way around. But as I'm working, I notice a few things. I want my top to be a little bit flatter. I might even just put it down on my canvas and carefully cupping my hands, press it down just to make it a little bit flatter. That's nice. But I also notice I'm getting some of these little cracks. So once I see that, I'm gonna take a break, get some wet fingers and just carefully smooth it out until my cracks disappear. When we work on this, we're looking for good craftsmanship. Craftsmanship just means how neatly and how well I do my project. So I wanna make sure that I'm being very neat and not leaving any cracks. So any cracks that I see, I might take a moment and just make sure that I'm smoothing it out. Same thing over here, I noticed that I have a crack and also on some of my sides. So I'm going to carefully wet those and smooth them out. And I'm gonna go all the way around the edges for that. Okay. And when I'm done, I should have a really nice, even looking pinch pot. 